It glows green. Looks like a few of them do too. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. My name's Taylor and today we're gonna to be looking at some polished Agates and Kill Sydney from Arizona. They've recently gone through the tumbling process and I think they turned out pretty good. And I'm super excited to show you all these, but before I do, I wanna show you a quick little video that I put together for my Instagram account. And in this video, I put some background music, Fire and Rain by James Taylor because of fire, agate, and rinsing them off with water, rain. It's just kind of clever. But anyways, here's that video. Did you catch it? <laughs> Let me show you again. That's right. James Taylor's official Instagram account liked, commented, and shared that video on Instagram. I was pretty pumped. Really, really excited because I was actually named after James Taylor and I've always been a really huge fan. So I was pretty excited for that. But yeah, uh, don't want to fangirl too much. Let's look at these beautiful agates. So here they all are. We got a whole bunch of them here that went through. And I've heard that these, uh, I don't know if you'd call these ones exactly fire eggs because I didn't find a whole lot of these that have uh, color play that would make them official fire eggs, but we'll just call them agates and Kelsey from Arizona. I uh, got some cool crystal points in this big guy. But yeah, a lot of these have that desert uh, scum or desert moss that's growing on it. They're really hard to clean. And because they have so many grooves and <laughs> pits and all that stuff, they're really hard to get a real solid tumble. But uh, this one, you can see these crystal points in it right here. I'm actually kind of glad that those were saved, but really cool details on these. They have a lot going on. I especially like the white ones. I think they're really pretty. And yeah, this video is just gonna be a chill video, looking at some rocks. Uh, it's not a tumbling how-to, it's not looking for help or anything with tumbling, it's just showing off some cool stuff. Some beautiful details in these stones. I'll put the video links to when I found these down in the description box below if you guys wanna go check out those rock counting adventures. Those are pretty fun. We came out of there with a ton of material, it was really fun. Yeah, I like this one. I like those details right there. That little pocket right there. It's really neat. I really, really want to get back down there and get, get some more of this stuff. Look at those details. That's so pretty. I love that. Yeah, um, there's a few of them. I think this one. I'm trying to think where it is. I was thinking there might be color play right there. So when I catch it in the light, it would flash, but then I saw there was a fracture. So I was like, oh, nope. Still a beautiful piece, but uh, no no real fire agate in this one. Fun story about this one too. I actually didn't want this one to be tumbled. Uh, it kind of snuck its way into the tumbling process and I was looking for it and I found it after a couple of the stages and I was like, whoops. That's pretty cool details there. Yeah, I wasn't sure if in here I caught like a green hue. Maybe you have to tumble it or polish it more to see if it's got any color play down in there. Some really pretty material. If you guys have a lot of this stuff and it gets through the tumbling process, let me know what you do with it. If you make jewelry with it or whatever, maybe we can keep going with uh, some lapidary processes with it. Really love how wild and kind of bubbly the, this stuff looks. So pretty. That one didn't get cleaned off as well as the others. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. I just love this detail right here and there. That is so cool. Really cool. I know a lot of people down south don't favor this white Chalcedony and agate from down there, the Saddle Mountain as much, but I think it's really beautiful, but I'm not from there, so that's probably why. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Butterfingers. Yeah, that is pretty cool. 
This one's got some neat details as well. Kind of beat up on that side. Yeah, didn't take the polish as well. That's all right though. Okay, another pocket there. It didn't get quite as cleaned during the burnishing process. Probably could have kept it in a little longer. Yeah, so you can see here, it still has some of that like desert moss that's just stuck in there. <laughs> yeah, the crystal pocket in there. You can see all these grooves, how hard it would be to tumble this stuff. Like this one just doesn't look good at all. <laughs> so if you have a bunch of Agates and Kilsini from Saddle Mountain. I probably would advise not to tumble it. Not sure how to clean it either if it's got all that moss on it. Maybe uh, muriatic acid or something like that. Yep. As we're just taking a peek at all this beautiful stuff here. So I wanna throw it there if you guys are new to my channel. Do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. Helps the Aga Dad family grow. Love taking you guys with on all of our adventures and showing you guys all this fun stuff. That's pretty cool. I love how it seems like it's kind of layered on there. Really cool. Almost like a little geode or like an ear. This one turned out really well. Really pretty. That'd probably be a good necklace or something. Let's see. There's so much of this stuff. Some crystals in this one. See them kind of catching the light. That's kind of neat. Little pocket right in there. That's really cool. Yep. This one turned out pretty good as well. Looks like a flame. That's neat. That's cool, it's like waves. Yeah, trying to find the most with a lot of color because I think those are some of the prettiest ones. That's pretty unique. I like this one. That turned out really well. Looks like lava. Really, really neat. Oh, here's a really good white one. Really great details. This would, oh geez, the back. It's even got some beads from the first go I had at it. Oh, funny, whatever. Yeah, this is one I would probably call an agate from down there because of the, the details in it. That's really cool. This one's not bad. Both of these are pretty good, at least on one side. <laughs> Tumbling is an art. That's such a glare, you can't even catch the details on that one. This one almost has shadow banding, parallax banding by my thumb right here. That's crazy. I'll show a few more here since this is just kind of a sit down, looking at rock stuff. A lot of, a lot of interesting stuff here. Some crystals in there. Yeah, well, I'm gonna show you one more thing here and then we'll close out. All right, so here are a couple of my last pieces that I haven't done anything with. Um, I just love the way that this one looked and then this one's just really pretty. But I'm gonna turn the lights off and show you something really cool about this one right here. Oh cool, it looks like a few of them are doing it. So I have this under UV light right now and it glows green. Looks like a few of them do too. 
glowing green. <laughs> I don't not no idea what causes that. This one's glowing orange. That is crazy. I'm gonna mush these together here just to see if there's anything else. This one's glowing green. It's like <laughs> well, I don't understand. But how cool is that? Yeah, some of these are just grab all the ones that I can see that are glowing. If you know why these are glowing green under UV light, let me know, because this is pretty cool. Yeah, and then the one that's glowing orange, that's super cool. That is bizarre, absolutely beautiful. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh wow, sorry. Back it up. Purple on this one. Purple and green. Wow. <laughs> yeah. If you guys uh, enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.